everyone, I'm Hannah and this is my schoolmate Nadia. We are part of the Holy Childhood Kids. We help kids all over the world. It's all part of life at school. Study, play, pray, have fun, learn. About theater arts and video editing and growing stuff to eat. And planning for our futures and for the future of the whole world. That's where Holy Childhood comes in. Through Holy Childhood, kids all across Canada are helping to make the world a better place. So come with us on an adventure around the world. We will explore the lives of children who are in some ways just like us, and in other ways they live lives that are really, really different. Together, we are the Holy Childhood Kids. Together, we can make the world a better place. Today, we are going on a journey to Tanzania. It is a big trip flying across the Atlantic Ocean to stop off first in a European country like Holland and then on down to Tanzania. Tanzania is located in East Africa and is on the Indian Ocean. Africa's tallest mountain is there. It is called Mount Kilimanjaro. Tanzania is very peaceful and has not had any wars with its neighboring countries such as Uganda and Kenya to the north and Zambia and Malawi to the south. Tanzania is a very poor country. The average yearly income of a worker in Tanzania is $1,500, compared to $40,300 in Canada. There are over 43 million people who live in Tanzania. Nine million people are Catholic and about five million of those are kids. Three quarters of these children live in rural areas. Today, half of all Tanzanians live below the poverty line and approximately one-third live in abject poverty. Infant and maternal mortality rates remain amongst the highest in the world. Literacy rates are low, and more than one-third of all children under five are malnourished. But the country has made progress with better primary education for young kids, clean water and health, However, much more needs to be done, and that is where the church comes in. And that is where the Holy Childhood Society comes in. Together we can really help. Canadian Holy Childhood Kids have made a big difference. We have reached over 100,000 kids and supported education in many ways. With nutrition programs, training programs, and disease prevention for at-risk children. We have also constructed a health care center to support mothers and children, and we have also provided school uniforms for a nursery school. And if we take the time to learn more and really understand what is needed, we can do more. We can save lives and make lives a lot better. In Tanzania, everyone is expected to go to school for seven years until children reach the age of 15. But most children do not attend school until this age, and some do not attend at all. In fact, the figure is more like 50% attendance. Just like in Canada, education is the key to everything else getting better. So the church is involved in making education possible for many more people. You find the church getting involved in education, and you find the church building schools or running schools. You find even a priest is teaching in a school. We have also technical schools which will, can assist the young people to employ themselves with train, in vocational training. The church from the very beginning started school for girls and we produce many, many of the women who are leaders now of the communities, leaders of the in the government. It is not just how much money your parents earn that helps make the child's education possible. It is also the question of health and that comes about if the water is clean and if you can get enough medicines and vaccinations to avoid diseases. We do the regular full childhood vaccination series from birth up to five years of age. Polio, TB, diphtheria, whooping cough, tetanus, measles. And uh, we also participate in uh, national vitamin A campaigns and things like that. Priority number one is water. 
Everywhere there is scarcity of water and people will suffer. They don't have water enough to even to grow their own vegetables and all that. And they're suffering also for eyes, sores and all that because there's not enough water. And then there's the problem of HIV AIDS, which is terrible everywhere in Africa and Tanzania is no exception. The, the problem of AIDS, HIV, is killing a lot of young people. Now, what will be the future? It will be very difficult to tell, but there's a lot of effort being done now to, to reduce this kind of speed. Eh? It's a very high speed, eh? killing people, killing particularly young people. Tanzania's Catholics love to celebrate their faith, and there are many vocations to the priesthood and to becoming a religious sister every year. The spirit of uh, our Africa, and, uh, particularly the African culture, is based on a community life. It's based on togetherness, it's based on love, it's based on extended family. Our people here are very religious, very religious. Not only the Christians, even the ordinary Muslims, and they have a great faith in God. The way I see the Tanzanian church is, is a strong church, but it is also a growing church in the sense that it's not an old church, it needs help. It is evolving, it has to, to deal with a lot of challenges. In the old days, missionaries would come from rich countries like Canada to help out. It is still a missionary church, but the missionaries are mostly African. And they know we are helping them. As stay-at-home missionaries, we kids can assist the African missionaries through our prayers and donations. But this is a two-way street. The kids we help, help us too. They teach us about what is most important in life. Things like having fun even when you don't have a lot of stuff. Things like the way kids love and care for their parents and other siblings. The way they work hard to help the family survive. It all begins with getting to know Tanzania's kids a little better. So join us on this great learning adventure. Do a class project based on this video on Tanzania. Write the Canadian Holy Childhood Association to get more background. Raise some money. Holy Childhood will let you know how the money is spent. Above all, keep these kids in Tanzania in your prayers. For sure, they will be praying for you. Together, all the Holy Childhood kids of the world are forming a huge circle of love. And it's where you belong. <laughs>